Good evening, everyone. It's Lisa with Candidly Speaking. And I know that I didn't record last night like I was supposed to. But I have a good reason for that. So I just was, I just was saying, though, because I was thinking about these reality shows. Um, and, um, yeah, I've been watching, you know, Housewives of Atlanta. And I just wanted to kind of give my opinion about uh, these Housewives of Atlanta. Sheree, Sheree for example, um, she's corny. She, um, she tells stories. And um, she's curt with you. And she does kind of think like she's better than you and all that. You know, I modeled for her before years years ago and she didn't want to pay. She didn't pay at all. She gave um, these little stupid gift cards out like five or three percent off at her little funky store. Um, yeah. So, fuck Sheree. Um, Nene, Lisa, I don't know why they keep going to Kim to say, you know, let's talk it out. Let's, 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 let's call Kim and see, you know, why she said that. Let's, let's pan things out. Let's talk with her. Why, why keep doing that? Why just not cut Kim off? Stop dealing with her. She's a liar. She has a lying disease and so stop fucking with her. So I don't understand. Are the directors or producers saying, you know, go ask her some questions, you know, just add fuel to the fire, just to make up drama because I just can't see you're still dealing with her if you know that's how she's, how she's going to act. But anyway, Candy, you're a crybaby. You're a crybaby and it's irritating. And it's, what's more irritating is that you won't live your own life. If you want to marry this man, you fucking marry him. But what's the big deal about your mom? So fucking what? She doesn't approve. Have you done everything in your life that she approved of? You're a grown woman. Even if it means making grown mistakes. And there are things such as making grown mistakes. And that's all well and good. But how would you ever fucking know? if you didn't give it a try. So, she's so irritating. Just, ugh. But anyway, with the topics right here. All right, now, this is from a new viewer. He says, why is it when a man compliments um, some women, they look at them like, nigga, please. Or, you know, just give them that look like, you know what I'm saying, like, they better than you kind of look. You know, when he, he might be trying to holler, he says, but he, just wants to give a compliment. Why do they act like that? Well, I really can't answer why they act like that. But I can tell you um, maybe some things that might have led to them acting like that now. Um, some of them probably have already been like that all their life, real snobbish like that. And of course, um, the cuter you are, you probably bound have a little more attitude about you. Um, yeah, I used to talk to people all the time. I, w I would think it would be rude, you know, if a guy says hi and just ignore him. I'd just say hi. And, you know, years and years after doing that, I found out that that was a mistake. Because when you do that, then you lead them to believe it's okay to come talk to me. And it might not be. It might not be. So, after years of realizing what could come out of a cordial response from a female when you're trying to compliment her, yeah, you don't really, really want to worry about that. It could be all sorts of reasons. Okay? So, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just keep pursuing. Okay? Um, sorry about that. Give me one second. I'm on the wrong page here. One moment. Oh, okay. I, I was supposed to really talk about this on the last on the last show, but there was no room. Uh, the viewer says, teachers having sex with students. Teachers having sex with students. It wasn't posed as a question. I guess he just wanted to know my thoughts on teachers. Fucking the kids. Um, I don't know about that. Now, I, I see these kids in school now, and they look damn near 25. So maybe, you know, the teachers are being fooled. Maybe not, no, because they know they're in school, right? Um, I don't know. They just look grown, maybe. The kids are not like when we were in school and stuff. They're different. They're bigger. They have beards and stuff. And I don't know. I don't know how to answer that one, teachers having sex with students, because I think there could be a logical explanation uh, behind it. All right, so I gotta go. I gotta go and get it together. Okay, so I'm going to this little get together tonight. Yeah, I'm really tired. I'm always tired on Fridays, but I must go. All right, so look up, not down.
and broaden your horizons. Good night.